But I also had an idea. Uh, I was thinking about it, and right now, for most of these videos, you're just going to be looking at me in front of a, a blurry background of my wall, and that's not really interesting. And I wanted to give you guys a tour of where I live. So I have this camera, which is different than the one that I'm recording with right now. So I'm going to start filming on this one, and the audio quality is probably going to drop a little bit. You're looking at my desk area, and uh, the first thing you notice, probably, is this giant white box. That's called a softbox. It's for photography and video stuff. A bunch of lights that go on the inside, and then there's that giant sheet that goes over it, and it kind of makes the light smoother and less harsh than if you just had a single un uncovered bulb, uh, because it, it pretty much widens the surface area of the light, so there's different angles that the shadows are coming from. With a regular light bulb, you see a lot of really intense shadows, but because this diffuses the light, it's going to make it a little bit soft. So this is just a side light when I'm filming in my regular chair. And this right now is um, a supporting light. It's kind of bluer than my other lights. And when I unplug it, when I unplug that light, this camera gets a lot darker and it doesn't look as nice visually. It looks like uh, it's like, it looks like it's in the evening. And I, I don't know if I really like that look. So I like having the soft box. It kind of fills in the other side of my face that would have been in the shadows before. I also have this light right over here, which is a giant spotlight. Those are the two lights that I'm using. I have that one over there, and then this one, which is bouncing off of the wall, which kind of acts as a diffusion for the, the light anyway. Uh, it, makes, it gives the room a lot of more light. If I turn this off with my foot, little knob there, uh, my room looks a lot more blue because of the soft light. Now if I sit in front of my computer again, once again it kind of looks weird and nighttimey and not really flattering at all. And if I turn both of them off, it's completely dark in my room. That's the thing about vlogs that a lot of people don't really realize is that there's a lot of lighting work that goes into it. Whenever you're watching a vlog or a video journal from like this somewhere on the internet, generally it's not natural lighting because natural lighting never looks as good on camera as it does in the real world. So when I set up these artificial lights, I am trying to replicate the appearance of natural lighting E e without actually using any natural lighting. That's enough for the lighting lesson. If I walk over here, you can see I have my piano, which I sit at at night and play music. Uh, I have a synthesizer over here that's not turned on, as you can see by the lack of sound when I press buttons on it. I have a guitar that I don't know how to play, but I'm trying to learn, and a bunch of drums that I got in New York on a band field trip. Oh, then I have my picture wall over here, which is filled with a bunch of pictures from important points in my life and things that I took that I was kind of proud of. But that was my friends and I trespassing illegally on top of a water tower on private property. This is me standing on the glory hole, which is another place you have to trespass to get to. Uh, in Whiskey Town Lake, and we got in trouble with the police for going on that. And also, it's 200 feet deep, and you could die. This is me and one of my best friends, Logan, underneath a table while it was raining after we climbed to the top of Mount Lassen. That's my friend Brian, as we both illegally trespassed onto a pipe that crosses the Sacramento River at night. This is me and my adorable girlfriend while we were hiking up to the top of a mountain. This is me at Yosemite National Park during a backpacking trip. This is me and Logan both on Halloween dressing up as mimes. That's me on Halloween dressing up as Santa Claus. I'm not going to go through uh, all my pictures just because that's there's way too many on here. Maybe in another video I might try to give you like a five second description of every single picture on here. That's an artistic depiction of Carl Sagan, one of the best scientists that ever lived and he's pretty much my favorite person in the world. This is the computer that I built about a month ago for video editing. It has three monitors in it, which is really fancy and not that many people have three monitors. Here's the inside, which looks really cool. Here's the whiteboard that's in my room that I got at a yard sale for $20 from a school where I have uh, plot diagrams from movies and a giant penis that my friend Stone drew. So yeah, that's, thank you Stone.
this is the upstairs living room in my house that is filled with a bunch of movie posters that I got from work that are really, really dark and hard to see. This is the Jurassic World poster, which was the sequel to the Jurassic Park trilogy, which I was obsessed with. This is a movie about a robot named Chappie. This is a movie about space called Interstellar, which is fantastic. This is a movie called The Martian, based on a book by Andy Weir that's incredible. This movie was weird as shit. So that's the living room right next to my office, which is way too bright. And then, there's a, uh, a couch, and my bedroom, which you can tell is mine based off the messy bed. Oh. Slightly less messy now. This is a table filled with scripts and movie equipment uh, that I wanted to try to keep organized, which, as you can tell, worked out perfectly. This is my dresser and my alarm clock, filled with towels, underwear, and socks, a bunch of shirts, a bunch of jeans, and then a bunch of dress clothes that I don't ever wear. These are pictures that I'm probably going to put on my wall at some point, and then my name tag for work. This is my quadcopter drone that I use for filming things from the air that I got a while ago. Those are my speakers that are Bluetooth connected to my phone so I can listen to music wirelessly. This is my pocket shelf. Whenever I get back from work, I empty out my pockets and put it there, which, um, this is $25 in quarters that I made in tips working at the movie theater. And then headphones and uh, a flash drive that's technically illegal for me to have because it's uh, Technicolor property and then my combs. This is an iron that I use for bleaching shirts and then those are bleach for putting on shirts that I want to bleach, because if you want to bleach shirts, you gotta have bleach to do it. Uh, those are light bulbs for filming. That's a door handle that I probably should install at some point. That's a Santa hat. Uh, more camera equipment, and then prednisone, which is poison oak medication, and it tastes terrible, but it makes the poison oak swelling go away, so uh, that's pretty my only option. I've tried everything else, but I gotta go with drugs. Drugs always work. This is a poster that I designed at the request of a friend and then I trespassed onto school property and put it up everywhere illegally. Probably shouldn't tell anyone about that. This is where my dirty clothes go. As you can see, my work clothes are in there because I had work today and now I need to wash them. And there in the corner is my old computer next to a fan. This computer is the reason that I stopped doing the journal initially because every time I tried to edit any videos it would overheat and die. So I had to stop that. Anyway, this is pretty much my living environment. Uh, that's probably it. Anyway, that's about it. That's the upstairs of my house, and I don't really want to go over the downstairs of my house just because it's not really that exciting, and I don't spend that much time down there. This is where I spend most of my time, and I figured I'd give you guys a tour of that. You probably noticed that it's kind of weird that I have this entire upstairs area to myself, and then I have two rooms, really. I have a bedroom and then, like, this office. Uh, that's all because I used to be part of a bigger family, like nine people, and we needed all these rooms, but then there was this whole thing with my family splitting up, and I think I'll talk about that in another video, give you guys a family history, but the end result is that we went from a family of nine people to me just living with my dad here in this house, but he really liked the house and he didn't want to leave it, so we decided to stay here, even though it's way too big for just two people. But when you have all the extra room, it's not like I'm just going to let them go to waste. So I decided to set this up as my office, just so I seem a little bit more professional if people come over for video stuff or want to watch me edit or whatever. Anyway, uh, see you guys. <laughs>